All right, we're on to lots 37, 38, and 39. These will be 122 litters. They're sired by Young Love. Uh, mother would be a classic move, Dirty Lovin'. I've talked to Littermate Barras, the Dirty Lovin' grandmother's uh, sow line. We're very confident in, had great success at Three's Company. Young Love obviously had a tremendous kind of a summer and, uh, you know, continuation. Those hogs are feeding extremely, extremely well and, and on our short list to use again. Uh, uh, very excited about the way these hogs' uh, predictability and the way they feed. 122-4 is the gilt we're going to start with, and uh, Austin's got on the stick there. Uh, this gilt here, is, is, I think all these gilts can be, uh, you know, universal. You want to show them market breeding, kind of depending on your setting and where you want to be. 122-4 is one that's obviously uh, athletic in terms of her movement and the way she's uh, she, she's assembled up front. Her flexibility behind is good enough. She's stout about her head but still opens up with some shape and muscle. A gilt that's uh, wide and true underneath, and we think, uh, as I said earlier, feedability. If you want to show her as a market gilt, you want to show her as a breeding gilt, do what you want because I think she's uh, – uh, she's that kind of guilt you feed her on your on your feeding schedule and what you want to do with her uh, but offers flexibility squareness design and build and a stout kind of a head coming at you there i think a nice guilt there that's uh, uh, the easy feeding kind for darn sure next one's going to be lot 38 this is 122-6 uh, this guilt here is obviously uh 16 i'm sorry uh uh 122-16 there and she is short underline as i was getting ready to say uh we just like to tell people what they're buying for sure, but it doesn't matter in the crossbred show ring. I'm not real sure of that, but uh, she's a very, very high quality gilt. Like her sister, universal in terms of uh, market breeding, do what you want to do. Proportions are good. She's ready to go in terms of a jackpot gilt, offers shape, uh, dimension, pastern sets good, extremely good about her hip and hind leg and flexibility. Uh, starts at you, comes at you with some wits, leaves you with some wits. We think uh, that's the kind of young love gilt that uh, has fed extremely well, has won, and, and will continue because the type and kinds uh, don't go out of style that look like that. 122-17 would be lot 39, and this is the bigger gilt. Uh, uh, the two gilts I just talked, probably end points, we're talking, uh, you know, summer months, wherever you want to show them, uh, August, uh, kind of wherever your destination is in terms of weight. Uh, they'll finish in the June, July, August, wherever you want to be on your weights. This uh, this dash 17, lot 39 gilt's the bigger one in the litter. She looks like a June or July setting for sure. Heavyweight kind of a gilt. She is also short underlined. She's uh, 122-17. We do notch them different. Tell people, does the underline matter? I'm not real sure, but I want to be transparent with people. Shape, muscle, design. Uh, this gilt does offer a lot of power and, and dimension. She's a big hip kind of a hog. She offers more frame and extension. Looks like heavier weights would be to her advantage, but a gilt there that uh, that does offer some, some power coming at you uh, a gilt that looks like one you can push on and feed into heavier weights but a really good uh, really good pin of the 122s excited about their endpoints